I'm just waiting for a, a little drink because I've got a tickle in my throat. I hardly ever go to the cinema. I find it too boring. I, it, it's something, it's a waste of my time. I can't do it. I think I'd rather just stand at a bus stop than go to the cinema. I always liked clothes as a child and even would sort of imagine a beautiful dress, which somehow I never had. And um, yes, because there was a big thing that irritated me that somehow it was only little girls with curls that were somehow seemed to be pretty. And um, I very often got more plain dresses that probably suited me really well, but I l really liked the idea of very, very frilly things. That's what I wanted. As a teenager, I, my mother and father never gave me much spending money at all. And so the way I budgeted is I made all my clothes and I spent my money on shoes. Every now and again I bought shoes, but that's, that's it, and I bought fabric. And I used to be able to make a dress out of a yard of fabric, which is 36 inches, and just by putting it round and making a tiny seam and then putting darts, I could just about get a dress out of a metre of fabric, those little dresses. But I made tailored suits and whatever, yeah. If it was a pencil skirt, then I had to have a very tight one. I didn't want to be a fashion designer uh, at all. I did it to to be uh, to help a boyfriend that I had, whose name was Malcolm McLaren. Malcolm started to work on this group, the Sex Pistols, but we started in fashion together before that, and I started fashion to help him. I didn't want to do it. Well, I've been doing fashion for 30-something years, 35 probably, and I think it's only in about the last 15 to 20 years that I've actually enjoyed it. I would never wanted to do it. I'm not, I don't say never. At the, at the, at the stage I want, at the stage I did start to do it, I didn't want to do it. I did it because I could. I've always been able to make things. Uh, I think at the age of five I could have made a pair of shoes. You have to know where to start. Um, did I try to help Sid Vicious? Um, I, li I, I, I liked Sid Vicious. I didn't try to help him. Sid, when I first knew him, he was a very striking person, a very, very likeable person, but he was a junkie right from the minute that you met him. And, and I didn't think that, you know, there's not much you can do. I don't think I can remember how we started with the safety pins. I know how we started ripping things up. People were getting rather tired of hippies and looking for something else. And this is in 1970. And I would say that it was the beginning of the age of nostalgia. The walls were totally covered with pages torn out of 50s pin-up magazines. The women were often wearing torn clothes as if they'd been on a beach, you know, they'd just been sort of like washed up off of shipwreck or something, and or they'd just been raped or something, and their clothes were all torn. And um, we started tearing clothes up. I don't know. When I started to do it... I was interested in this period around the time of the French Revolution with all this teased hair and these sort of frock coats and stripy trousers and they were called the incroyable. Anyway, so I started to make those clothes and then um, I, I didn't like them because actually they looked too much like Rod Stewart. They looked a bit hippie again. Um, I just wanted to say that it was me that invented this anarchy sign. That was my symbol. That's what I thought. I thought, we don't need all these horrible old people who've been running the world. You have to go faster than the system. That's what I learnt to, after, after that whole exercise. I think people need clothes. It can help people. Instead of looking like a clone or a cipher in this... People have never looked so dreadful, ever. If you buy something that really suits you, 
it, it um, talks about your character and your personality. And it's like, yeah, there's that guy again wearing that, who's got that great coat, but with that amazing hairstyle. And, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, it's good rather than, you know, these anonymous people who, you know, you don't even bother to focus on them. The paradox is that people think that if they wear something simple and non-saying, that somehow they themselves will emerge all the more stunning and beautiful from it. It's not true. It might be true. No, not, not even true of Christy Turlington. You know, no, no. I don't want to see Christy Turlington in a T-shirt and jeans. She can... Why not if you're born you know, somebody, a freak of beauty, why not, you know, look like a goddess, why not?